Hi everyone. This video is an overview of low-level lofting with laser-guided bombs. This video skips a lot of the setup for laser-guided bombing. If you haven't already, it might be a good idea to watch the laser-guided bombing tutorial video first. For the first half of this video, we'll be using GBU-12 Paveway 2 bombs on small point targets. For the second half of the video, we'll switch over to GBU-10 2,000 pound Paveway 3 bombs on a larger target. You can see I've already set up my laser code to 1511. I set my laser to combat mode, and I've set my laser time to 12 seconds before impact. I've also set an arming delay of four and a half seconds, which is more than enough to get the bomb off the rack and off to the target without putting me in the frag zone. I've set as one single drop with a ripple of one. The release angle I've also set at 15, which may seem slightly low, but BMS has an odd bug where the release cue for lofting is a little early. You can counter this by either setting the release angle to half your planned loft angle, or you can set it to your planned loft angle and wait two to three seconds after the loft cue to start your loft. In this case, we used the half the planned loft angle and we'll just loft at the loft queue. You can see I've already found a target. This is a small tank. I'm gonna lock that up, make sure it doesn't go away. In order to do this properly, I found that you need to set a mark point. Um, if you do not set a mark point, the INS in the targeting pod will actually lose track of where the target is in the loft. If we set a mark point, the INS and the jet does a much better job of keeping track of where that point is. Let's dob her left. We're going to use ICP-7 for a mark. We're going to set a mark point on the TGP and we'll TMS up. Okay. What I also want to do is make sure that that mark point, number 26, is my current steer point. So I'm going to M select. I also need to make sure that I cursor zero. You can see where I'm no longer looking at the target uh, because I initially had a delta in the system. So I'm going to zero out that delta and put us right back on the target. And there it is. Let's TMS up again just to make sure we can lock it up. Okay, now that I've got that set up, we can resume and start our dive. I'm going to nose over here. You can see the target in the distance. Throttle back, and I do want to keep an eye on my airspeed as I'm in the dive, because I do not want to overspeed my bombs. Overspeed for these is 550 knots. But speed breaks out here. Altitude. Altitude. See the target way out there. All right, as I get lower, turn the speed brakes off and throttle back up. You do want to make sure you are in mill power for these low level lofts while still keeping an eye on the airspeed so you don't overspeed the bombs. See, I'm about 15 seconds away from my loft queue. And even though I can't see the target in the TGP, oh, there it is, it's still tracking because it knows where that steer point is. There's the loft queue. I'm going to pull three to four Gs in the loft. And I'm going to slice back to the left. The TGP is on the right chin point, so I want to make sure that I keep it on the right side of the plane. And I'm going to pause here. You can see that, let's turn that off, the SA marker is right there. That tells me where the target is in relation to my plane. Right now, it's about 3 o'clock. Right there. And as I slice to the left, I want to make sure that I come around this target. 
Okay, so I'm going to keep that marker about three o'clock and I'm going to start a shallow right hand turn now to make sure that the TGP keeps visibility on the target. Let's resume. I'm going to make sure I don't get too low, otherwise, I won't have track on the target. And shack. All right, let's switch over to the GBU 10s. All right, here we are with GBU 24s, not GBU 10s, apologies. I've already set my laser codes up. My laser's in combat mode, and I've set my laser time for 18 seconds this time around. GBU 24s are Paveway 3 variants. Unlike the earlier Paveway 2s, they have proportional guidance, which gives them a much longer loft profile. I've already found my target. It's a nice big building, suitable for the 2,000 pound GBU 24s. I've got my release angle set as 15 degrees, and I'm still on single drop. Uh, these are going to be heavier bombs, so when you drop one of these bombs in the loft, uh, it is going to affect your stability. You're going to have to keep that in mind when you come off the loft. We're going to set our mark point on our target here. Mark. DMS up. M select. Cursor zero. And lock up the target again. All right, now that we're set up, Let's start our dive. That was over. Board's out. You can see the target area right up there. Altitude. Altitude. Boards in, we'll pull back and start our ingress. Make sure we keep an eye on airspeed and don't overspeed. You can see the TGP has already lost track of the target. That's okay. There's our loft queue. Bombs away. Off left, TMS up, make sure we get that locked up again. Having to apply a lot of left trim here to get us back down. Okay. Slowly turning around the target, you can see we're lazing at this point. some of these trees. Three seconds. And shack. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.